Hello, 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 everybody. Ding, 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 ding. We are in session. Welcome back to Clumsy Clairvoyance. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome here on this channel. I'd like to stress upon the fact that spirituality is for everybody, even the clumsy, such as I. Okay, welcome back, guys. This is going to be a new vid on unboxing the Kawaii Tarot. Kawaii Tarot? Kawaii Tarot. Kawaii Tarot. Okay, guys. If I slaughtered the name, just go ahead and feel free to totally correct me, okay? Anywho, this is a really, I mean, I haven't even opened it yet, but I've heard really good things about this tarot deck. I also wanted to get a deck that I thought my youngest daughter would kind of be into as well because she's been wanting to read and learn tarot. She's only six, but I figured this would be something really perfect you know along those lines and it's also something I can include in many videos okay now I'm going to do my unboxing a little bit differently normally you'll hear me talking quite a bit during the video I'm gonna switch it up a little bit so for the first like two or three minutes it you'll hear a bit of silence but that's just gonna be me me fully sh letting you see and take in the cards without any commentary by me and then after that give them a quick shuffle and we'll go from there okay guys so first thing with any deck, just a little FYI real quick, is you always cleanse it using an incense or um, black salt, spiritual salt. If you don't have that, you can always clap it out. Oh my gosh, I have my little paper over here. Sorry guys, I totally forgot that. Forgive my little arts and craft area over here. <laughs> All right. I do have a little incense burning over here. I'm going to give it a quick cleansing. You are now cleansed of all negativity.
And down. <laughs> Sorry, guys.
All right, everybody. Let me know how you did like um, the little switch up with the unboxing. I went ahead and gave these cards a shuffle. Um, FYI, they shuffle beautifully. They have really nice light energy. Um, I like the cards. I honestly do. Um, I do find them cute and adorable. Like It's like, come on now. This is too cute. I also find them, there's some images on some of the cards um, that do remind me of childhood too, which is, it's kind of cool. So I went ahead and did a quick shuffle and I just want to get like a collective feel, just, you know, vibe off the cards, but for everybody. And uh, we ended up with the Ace of Wands, which is great, beautiful energy. I mean, Ace of Wands is all about, um, you know, sometimes the birthing, the birthing of a new idea, um, philosophy, things that keep you passionate in your life. And... So to, for today, guys, that's your little message, especially with the new unboxing, okay? Let me know how you like this video. Um, I'm going to give this a big thumbs up. This is like, I think I got this on Amazon, guys, for about $12, okay? And I haven't dived too far into it yet, of course, because this is just unboxing. You're getting a vibe as well as I'm getting a vibe. But, I mean, the book in here seems very extensive, like very... Um, not extensive in a way that's like complicated, but I mean, the way that's simple. Look at this, okay? This is the setup, okay? Death. It gives a good, thorough explanation while still keeping it simple, okay? Death is one of the few cards that can terrify us. Does it mean literal death? Death, death just means an ending, although sometimes it can mean human mortality. But it's more likely to be old objects, ideas, or relationships that have gone. Okay, so I would definitely, right off the bat, I'm going to suggest this for maybe even like the younger tarot readers or like the ones just starting out. I like that this is simple. It is very cute, very adorable, but this is simple and there's just like a nice, the way I would verb it is a nice clean feeling to this deck, a very innocent feeling, okay? So, but that's going to be it for this unboxing. Okay, guys, I will be doing, um, some videos in the very, very, very near future, and I'm going to be including the Kawaii Tarot just to get some interesting vibes, get some more feedback. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to be using this deck quite a bit because it is kind of small. It's it's still standard, I'd say standard like poker cards, but they're nice and light. Like there's something just like very airy, I would even call it, about these cards, and they shuffle so easily. Okay, guys. All right, but that's all I have for you today. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like a personal reading, I will be attaching that down below, the email where you can reach me out for one of those. And if you'd like to contribute to the success of Clones of Clairvoyance, I will also be linking the PayPal and Amazon wish list down below. Anything is appreciated. Never expected, but always appreciated. Thanks, guys.